How is up, y'all? It's Poppin' with Crackin' It's Steve, Boss Your Exit is Dead by Tommy NFG. It's titled, Saddest Downfalls to Watch. We are witnessing quite a few downfalls, actually. And yeah, some of them are, are very disturbing um, and unfortunate to witness. Kanye, I see, is the first person he's going to address. Uh, there are a few others, though. But yeah, let's, let's hear what he has to say. Let's watch. Hey, I'm Hey, man. Hello. It's like eight hours later. No chuckling and nothing and nothing, no kind of way. I played off the grid. That was Cardi. That was my shit. For somebody or been the victim to someone praying. I love Cardi. Whoever's been praying on my downfall, all I want to say is slow down. Yeah, yeah. Because it's definitely been worse. The sound is downfall to say people were beloved by y'all and it seemed like they could never do anything. Only for I them to keep digging cream. themselves deeper and deeper in a hole. And no one represents this better than my glorious five foot eight inch born on June 7th, 1977, went to the American Academy of Art College 24 Grammy ones. This is his signature resident in Chicago, Kanye. If you knew any of Kanye's yeah, yeah. work before uh, the TikTok Riz era, I guess. You know, there's I really like the one where he would ever recruit Vultures to the release. And dare I say it, Vultures won too. Like if Watch the Throne Kanye saw this release, or Graduation Kanye saw this release, he would do his best to stop anybody's earlobes from even being able to consume the music. At least with Vultures 1, you were able to hear it fully produced. But with Vultures 2, I don't know who on his team had the it. bright idea to release the album barely produced. I wouldn't be surprised if some of y'all didn't even know the album released. This was so a couple I like a couple out. of songs. No one even knew it was dropping. Like people woke up to see it drop because it dropped at 3 a.m. The only fans staying up to listen to their favorite artist dropping an album at 3 in the morning is cracked out white girls who listen to Taylor Swift. Then oh, slowly damn. over time, they started to update and fix the songs like it's an iOS update fixing bugs on your phone. So you have these social media pages reposting, talking about okay. the album is updated no, again for the fifth time. No one cares, it's over. If you have to release so many updates for an album, maybe it you wasn't meant to be put out. Just yeah. a little advice. And this is his only album he's released that hasn't gone number one in the first week to be beaten out by out of all people his mortal enemy taylor swift the only man that went against the demonic woman in high heels and he lost so this made people wonder you know what the fuck is actually going on i mean this is a man that was giving coaching talks three years ago about his albums a man that runs his studio sessions like the military he had people passing out in his studio sessions and just like the great downfall of every leader mlk jfk abraham lincoln alexander the great he suffered the same downfall as all of them what's your name where you from <laughs> Whippets, aka nitrous oxide. I don't know where this drug spawned from. It's like every other month a new drug spawns in the world people abuse. I swear, fentanyl didn't even exist like 10 years ago, and now it's everywhere. It makes me feel jealous. Like, I want to be popular too. The rumors of Kanye indulging in this delicacy began when someone on his delicacy team is crazy. text messages of him basically begging for it. And he's out here asking for it too, like he's a kid begging mommy and daddy for candy. If I'm an A list celebrity, I better have a personal drug dealer that can make me anything on the spot and out of all people giving it to him the allegation is that it's his dentist <laughs> not walter <laughs> a dentist what is this dentist some kind of ex-prison affiliated drug lord who ran the streets yes oh that's exactly what he is i usually don't judge a book by its cover but my how am i not supposed to you can't tell me this dude in another life wasn't running alcatraz in the 60s he must have just threatened the dentist school to give him the degree or he would unleash hell on them. And apparently he works with a lot of celebs, some like Gunna, Lil Yachty, Shaq, Post Malone. The whole rap game is f***ed up on this No wonder nothing good is dropping. For me, I just want him to be healthy in his personal life and then whatever after comes second. I mean, this is a man with four kids. It's not like he doesn't have any priorities in his life or anything. So hopefully he gets the help he needs because drug addiction ain't no joke. I would know. I've been on Galaxy Gas this whole video. Someone who needs some Galaxy Gas to calm down is Ninja because he just be lashing out at everyone. Ninja at the start of his blow up was everywhere you could think of. He was like the first mainstream celebrity gamer for it. I've said it before already, and I don't care if any of y'all call this glaze. Streaming simply wouldn't be in the same place and how big it is now without him. But we can't live in the Florida East forever. That was about like five or six years. I feel like there's two key reasons that can be attributed to his downfall. One being Mixer, because real quick, name five streamers that streamed on Mixer before shut down. I never even heard of it. I bet some people watching this didn't even know Mixer existed. I already don't want to watch streams on Kick, and that's a platform with a couple of huge streamers already. Who the f in their right mind was logging into their 
I can't even say without laughing, Mixer, to watch streamers on there. Like, once he went on there, I swear his presence just vanished from social media. You simply didn't hear of the name Ninja until he switched back. And you know for a fact, he regrets the f out of it. He was damn near on the path of being a celebrity. So now the only way he can cope his loss is by hating on the younger streamers surpassing him. Like, for some reason, mm. Ninja absolutely despises Kai Sinat. He hates what? Kai like Kendrick hates Drake. And I simply think that's really? because Kai Kendrick represents please. what would have happened to Ninja if he simply stayed stayed on Twitch and he didn't switch. Like in the latest streaming record Kai broke, he bring up the fact that another streamer was already bigger than him, so it doesn't matter anyways. Wow. And when Kai and Speed were streaming Minecraft and losing, he was saying that they were doing it on purpose. And look, okay, I, I stream obviously. I understand if people are just bombarding your chat with the same thing all day and how annoying that gets, but you could, you know, just turn it on sub only and boom, you solved the problem. Ninja, I know your game. I know you like talking your some type of way. You're not slick. You gotta let people say something I didn't know he was before talking you shit let. about that. And I feel like another key reason of Ninja's downfall was that he blew up because everyone was bad. Everyone touching Fortnite from season 1 to 3 were moving snail numbers. Like, the skill jump from that time to now is like us going from stone drawings to the iPhone. And when everyone saw a ninja clip of him destroying lobbies by himself, they couldn't believe it seemed like magic at the time. Was he cheating? Twitter flutter. People were just figuring out how to place walls down. And now that ninja can't keep up with the skill gap, he's just known as the dude that still plays Fortnite at 30 and hates on people. All right, but let's switch it up now from an individual to a whole company. How can a company's downfall be so bad that the whole company is just cooked? Disney, that's the only answer. Disney has been losing money since 2019, apparently, which Damn. probably isn't a surprise to anyone. I don't know how you can go from being the biggest entertainment company for 100 years to straight dipping to nothing. Like, I think people don't realize Who how lucky stock? we are I saw my stock a long to time ago. the times of Disney because they're never coming back. It's sad to think of all the future generations. No, Google also losing me money. What's happening with them? That's what I need. When they were releasing banger live action shows. When they were releasing banger cartoon shows. Okay, when they were releasing banger movies. Actually, no worries, because stuff. now kids can watch things like the Snow White movie, where they tried to remove the dwarves and make them human-sized to not offend the mm. little people community. I don't know what you call them, but I'm just gonna call them that. They tried to change the plot so Snow White doesn't get saved by the prince but herself because it's not empowering yeah, enough. I'm surprised they even definitely. released the trailer for this shit. Like, they gotta scrap the whole movie now. Definitely. Trying to change one of the most definitely. classic movies ever while your company is in a downtrodden is not the best thing. Disney. And I'm not gonna fully blame Disney for certain things because there's certain things I feel like they couldn't do anything about. Like for Disney, I saw it in 2020 off, higher like than what it is now. Social media coming up, that kids using that over watching shows. But at the same time, if they made good shows, still kids would find a way to watch it regardless. Their main downfall is getting way too political for no reason. Like at the end of the day, people just want to watch some good movies and don't. Dude, what is happening? So when you plaster it in front of their faces 24-7, they're just gonna get pissed off and stop paying for your product. And it's the fact that Disney acquired all these companies that people saw could basically never fail and threw their political messaging into it. Like Star Wars and Marvel were basically given on silver platter to y'all and you failed. And Disney Plus apparently has been losing the money since 2019, which is when it launched, so it never made any money. I mean, who could have guessed it? Who would have known people, people don't spend Marvel $20 movies for have been a no ad experience? Since. Like these streaming mm -hmm. companies be wilding nowadays. It was manageable when it was like $12 for no ads. But soon you're gonna have to start taking out mortgage payments just to pay for these services. Maybe this failure at the end of the day is a good thing though. Oh, make them have to lock in and actually start making things people want. instead of making another live action Lion King. Well, why is there another live action Lion King? Someone really? no one wants anymore is Bruce drops off. Now, if you're already familiar with the streaming game already, you most likely heard of Bruce. And when he yeah, started blowing yeah. up in 2021, it seemed like he could never do it. He would have a viral trend or meme every I month. So he was collabing with Bruce. different streamers from every community. And people just liked him and how naturally funny. Just in case he even had a group collabing with the biggest streamers, Kai Sinat and Your Rage Called the Boys. And it seemed like they all got along together. And it was well, called DYK. Was happily ever after. Until Bruce randomly started talking behind their backs. It needs to be studied the way this man's image flip-flopped from the hero to villain overnight. One day he was Batman, the next day he was Joker. Like everything all tumbled down at once and it kept getting worse. He got caught talking all his close creator friends, Kai Sanad, Your Rage, all of AMP, AKA the biggest streaming group in the world right now. And you would think he would have learned from this until months later. He did the same thing with all the new phase members. Basically cutting every creator connection he ever had. Now I'm not saying you have to rely on other people for your success or anything, but it sure would have as a streamer being able to collab with some of the other biggest streamers around you. 
I mean, uh, at least a little bit, right? And then it got worse somehow. It got revealed he was taken perks and that his girl broke up with him. Nowadays, anyone that comes across his path faces the wrath of once. You can't find a clip of him nowadays not talking shit about somebody. If he sees this video, he'll probably find some way to crash it on me too. The fly could land on his shoulder just because of that he's airing out the whole block. And I really think with Bruce, there's literally no recovery. There's not a single creator that could ever trust this man on or off camera. The fact that the snaking has happened multiple times just puts the nail in the coffin. And last, the Magnus Opus of Downfalls no one expected. The Saint of the Internet. Mr. Beast. Okay, oh, look, yeah. when I say downfall and Mr. Beast, there's a clear distinction. It's not a downfall as in numbers wise because we're talking about the most subscribed YouTuber on the planet. Yeah, but more of the downfall of his public image. Like if you told me last year Mr. Beast is a morally wrong person, I would think you're one of them annoying who are trying to cancel him for curing blindness. But now, sadly, I have to say I. I could see some validity to it if some of the rumors are true. Like, let's be real, your best friend of 10 years gets exposed for some heinous things and you have no clue that it was going on? You couldn't pay Leonardo DiCaprio to act you out of this one, but you definitely knew at least a little bit. And at first it was just that, but as the months are starting to go on, it seems like it's just getting worse and worse. Some of the main rumors are that he hosted fake lotteries and giveaways, which if true is pretty bad because he's known as the giving money guy. Another allegation is that he hired an ex-offender that was convicted of rape of a child. And you can say he didn't know and it's not confirmed if he did, but if you're running the biggest YouTube channel on earth, you better be screening your employees like the government or mm -hmm. just paying like $20 to one of those websites where you can get somebody's criminal history. Everyone Hello. should be walking through TSA before even stepping foot on a shooting production. The TSA machine should be plastered with Mr. Beast Productions. It's pretty hard to go through something like that without hearing it from at least one person out there. Best believe if I was told this news, the employee would be getting a public beating and it would be the treasure of my YouTube channel. And now the most recent allegation is that Mr. B's COO was running a gay strip bar? What? How we went from scams to grind. Uh Okay, see, I stopped keeping up with all the updates about his downfall because I'm just like, all right, it, it was like something new every week, but I didn't know <laughs> this was the latest update. What the hell? There's something fishy about this to me. It's quite literally impossible to hire someone at that high of a position without knowing what their past was. And some people might think it isn't weird and who cares what he was doing before, but imagine Johnny Sins working at, like, St. Jude's Hospital. It just doesn't sound like a Mr. Beast still ain't respond to any of this yet, so I'm still taking it with a grain of salt. He's gonna have to cook the greatest response of all time that this earth has ever seen. It has to knock people out their chairs with so much disproven that we feel bad we even thought he could do wrong. So hopefully these downfalls can be a lesson to the people around the world. Some are I don't think he's ever gonna say anything unless it gets so bad that it's actually affecting his views and his money. But as of now, he's still getting a lot of views. Even if people are coming over just to hate, He's still getting paid well. <laughs> so he probably like, whatever, I'm gonna just let it die out. So I think that's what he's doing, which is wild. Uh, but yeah, these people definitely have their downfalls. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you're gonna watch and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.